Sunday, the 22nd of April, dawned much like any other Sunday. Bishops blessed, priests preached and curates consoled. But by Monday evening there were reports of clergy vanishing across the diocese. Eventually, over 300 were tracked down to the Hayes Conference Centre, attending a Litchfield Diocesan Clergy Conference, the first for three years. My name is John Coyne. I, just less than two months ago, I became the Rector of Aldridge and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it so far. I'm the Reverend Gilly Hubbard. I'm in the parish of Malcop, which is in North Staffordshire, and I've been there for 12 weeks now. It's not the first time I've been in the diocese because I was chaplain at RAF Cosford 20 years ago. And um, previously, I've just come from a job as the Director of Leadership Development at CPAS. My name's David Kishenside. I, I work in the Edgemond and Schiffnell area as uh, assistant curate in the parishes of Muxton and Lillishall. Um, before that, I was a nurse, part-time nurse in Gloucester Royal Hospital down in Gloucester. And I was a curate in the other bit of time that I had in a, a church in the city centre. And I've led large teams, but I've not been an incumbent for a long time. So I was a risk, I reckon. This conference has just given me a chance to, to step back uh, from all the busyness uh, for a few days and to, to have time to, to listen to um, what speakers uh, who are experts in this area have to say about that. Also to speak to, uh, to colleagues who are older and, and wiser than I about what, what they think. Well for me it's really important to get to know people and this is a great opportunity to meet the, the widest number of colleagues that are gathered under one roof. So that's frankly why it's attractive to me and uh, you know the rest is a bonus. I'm at a point where I'm now sort of thinking about what this looks like further down the line. How does this play out? How does ministry play out? How does my vocation play out uh, in the future, whether it be five years, ten years? I do know people here, but amongst 300 people it's quite difficult to see them sometimes. Um, but I've met lots of new people, which is really nice, and I can now identify all four bishops, I think, on site, which is a good start. I find that I know quite a few people here because of previous roles and uh, it's been great to reacquaint with people and just to begin to find out uh, the temperature, the aspirations of people, the challenges they're facing, things like that. It just helps you to get the mood of the diocese at any particular point in time. Some of the things we've been looking at and uh, thinking about over the past few days are all about how, how you can sustain uh, ministry uh, in parish and um, part of what's involved with that is, is having the opportunity to step back from it all. We need to get away sometimes. Sometimes you get so embroiled in parish business and particularly the admin side of it that you sometimes forget what you've actually trained for. And I think we can all do the ministry side quite happily, um, but that's the bit we often don't get to, to enjoy. Um, for me, it's been great getting to know a, a load of new people, um, get some idea of the geography of the, the diocese because it's so big. Um, and also to worship together, because quite often if you're always at the front, you try and worship, but it's difficult to do that sometimes. So to be able to relax and worship and be fed ourselves for a change. I think it's important in a parish that where you try to do every member ministry, that the place survives without you from time to time. In fact, they went through a very good interregnum where the church continued to grow. So I think that's evidence, the fact that they don't need the clergy there seven days a week, 52 weeks a year. Well, hopefully they'll, they'll be able to, to see uh, their clergy um, looking more refreshed, revived, perhaps with some, some new ideas to, to pass their way. And sometimes that's not actually um, something that's tangible. You can't often see it. But I think um, in terms of the long term, uh, over the weeks and months, uh, uh, um, a member of clergy who's who's not so tired, not so exhausted, and has something fresh to give.